There's something really special about getting to see the magic of sailing through someone else's eyes. That first time surrounded by just the ocean with the wind pulling the sails is truly an indescribable feeling. sunsets oh how they just never get old i feel really lucky that i get to show someone from home this unique lifestyle and all it brings from the diving to the hiking to just a deep love for the ocean and the things living inside of it comprehend and understand the impact this lifestyle can have on someone unless you're here, living it, breathing it, and seeing it day after day. This is what makes it so special, and I never want to forget it. Welcome back to Martinique, which is an island owned by France. So as some of you know, I left the boat for a couple months, and Transitioning into adulthood is a really weird feeling. It's pretty hard to navigate, and I've definitely experienced some of my hardest days in the last couple of months. And sometimes we need professionals to give us valuable tools and to help guide us when we feel lost. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is an online therapy platform where you can get help from professionals, and I've recently been using BetterHelp. Come to find out, even before this sponsorship, my dad actually has been using BetterHelp as well. It's really cool to partner with companies and things that you use, that you actually use. And yes, personally, I have used BetterHelp way before she even knew it existed, to be honest with you. We think we don't need help. We can figure it out ourselves. And there's this stigma, like there's something wrong with us if we have to use it. And honestly, it's just like taking a car in for maintenance, like routine checkups. They're professionally trained to help you. And the cool thing about BetterHelp is they pair you with somebody that matches up with you. Like that, you know, you can pick whether you want to be with a female or a male and what interests they're in, into and what hobbies they have. And it was really cool. I got matched up with someone that I fit with right away. Click the link in my description to not only support this channel, but to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. 10% off? How come I didn't get that? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Where was that deal when I was doing I it? I don't know. <laughs> Did we pull an all-nighter last night? Perhaps. Maybe. Perhaps. Yes. Are we gonna go hike a volcano today? Not me, yes. but Perhaps. yeah. They're go the teenagers Perhaps. are going. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna hike this volcano called Mount Pelee. Not all of us. Pelee. Not all of us. Pelee. We are waiting for a bus to take us to the volcano, but we've missed like four buses already. Um, Getting buses in French islands are really hard because because nobody speaks English. It doesn't tell you where the bus stops are. Yeah. Hudson just found an automatic door bathroom. So. Found the right bus. Found the right bus. The right bus. It's coming soon. Yeah. Cool town though, eh? Cool town. Cool town. Very cool town. I love like going close on a GoPro because your nose it's gets like so big. Angle. Two hours of waiting later, and we're on the bus. I'm feeling very unwell. How are you feeling? Yeah, not great. The smells, the windy roads. We took the bus for around 45 minutes to a town where we had to walk an hour to the trailhead. This will actually be my second time hiking Mount Pile, which is an active volcano. In 1902, it erupted, killing nearly 30,000 people with only three known survivors in St. Pierre. It's considered one of the worst volcanic disasters of the 20th century. It later erupted again in 1932 and hasn't erupted since. We're starting. We, we did a warm up. We did a two mile warm up. So we were looking at this. So north is always north. 
But compasses are drawn to magnetic north, which is always changing. Not always, but every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's always changing though. You gotta Basically he said that compasses aren't always It's called declination. Whoa. Declination is the word for it. That's cool. So there's north and then there's true north. Yeah, there's magnetic north, which is the compass. Yeah. But then there's true north, and that difference is called the declination. The it's north that you north. think is north, it's not north. It's so basically north. your compass is lying to you. It's all it's all a lie. <laughs> it's all a lie this whole time. Anyways, up there, we're going. Basically the whole hike is stairs. It's a lot. Straight up. Straight up. Bryce went to college for basically outdoor adventure guiding, how to navigate through the forest, if wilderness. If you're watching this, I did outdoor pursuits. <laughs> outdoor pursuits in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Shout out to Terry. But yeah, he learned about navigation skills and he's been filling us in on all the mojo. You'd kill me if you knew I called it outdoor pursuits. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Terrible thing. Our current altitude is 1,050 meters. And that's basically coming from sea level, so we're gonna eat some sandwiches and look at the view of the clouds. <laughs> so much to look at. It's pretty cool being up here though. I like the wind gusts hit really powerful. Yeah, very, very powerful. Yo, 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 we are out in the wild. And we were just in the sun and now we're walking through the rain. The conditions are pretty muddy. I would say it's really weird because one second it's super nice weather and then two seconds later it's just dumping and then it just stops again. Yeah, this mountain has its own weather system. Jungle cave right now. Summit! Woo! Woo! We're here. You can't really see anything, but we're on top of the biggest cano in Martinique. Biggest cano in Martinique. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Nine, 9.3, 9.6. Performance sailing vessel. Every day Saturday. Where are we going? We are going to Guadalupe. How long is our sail gonna be? Uh, we left Martinique this morning and it's 94 miles. So it's gonna be somewhere in the 15 hour range. 15 hours. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. Up. We're gonna do chicken fried rice for today. Chicken fried rice. How was your day today? It was good. The seas were kind of lumpy, um, but then it calmed down and it was nice and beautiful. And overall, it was a pretty good day. I'm on chicken chopping duties, so gotta chop the chicken. Step one: cut the chicken. My little sous chef. This is kind of an easy dinner tonight because we've been on passage all day since 4.30 a.m. So I try to just make really simple things. So I actually had a big bag of frozen fried rice and then just sauteing some chicken and it's simple tonight. Very simple. All right, 
dinner served, they're wrestling, chicken fried rice people, you can put a little sriracha, soy, you know, cashews, and a little green onion. What's happening in here this morning? I'm making a mess of breakfast because I just dropped the breakfast taco. Don't get my six pack, people are going to stumble. Oh. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about. How is it, Bryce? So good. <laughs> okay, there. this morning we are introducing my boyfriend to my grandpa on FaceTime. Ready? Oh Three, two, one. Papa Charlie. Meet Bryce. So oh, great to meet you. Hi. Sorry, you have to put up with all of them. Oh, no worries. It's entertainment. All right, Dad, what do you think? You, you, you've you talked to him for 10 seconds. Do you approve of him or not? Oh, thank you. I'll insert the reel right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are a family of six who have been living on our boat for the last three years full time. And my 18 year old daughter has her boyfriend with us. This is Bryce. Hello, and everyone. You have a fear of the ocean, right? A healthy fear. I mean, the deep water is scary. So, how do you crush that fear? You jump in at 3,000 feet <laughs> and you destroy it. Three, two, one, send it! That's what I was thinking. I opened my eyes and I could just see nothing but deep water. That's what everybody thinks about. Do you guys think about bears jumping out to eat you every time you walk in the forest? Exactly. Yes, I do. It's the actually. same thing. <laughs> right now, we're going to go snorkel with our friends on a boat named Exodus. And we're going to this island called, what's it called? Pigeon. 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 And. That's and called Pigeon Island. You know I'm the water boy, so I'm coming in. My name is Aquaco, and her name is Aqua Jades. Yeah. So and Bryce is everything. coming with us, so his name is Aqua Bryce. Aqua Bryce. Yeah. And Aqua Dad. And Aqua, Aqua Dad. Dad. And Aqua Mom. We're gonna go you snorkel with some get, fish. You get my spit. Snorkel. Yes. Snorkel. Snorkel. Oh. It's been really nice being back with my family and getting to catch up with all of them. Come back next Sunday to see what we get up to in Guadalupe. Locked in the B-roll. Instructions. Hi, Dad. We're putting Bryce to work. Look. What up, Papa Charlie? This is the guy who responds to all the comments in, yeah. in my YouTube videos. When you videos. see Papa Charlie in there, hey, Jeter Bugs. <laughs>